After last month's debate, a lot of abortion rights supporters were kind of dismayed that uh, President Biden didn't very effectively defend abortion access and didn't really rebut falsehoods repeated by former President Trump. Um, We know that reproductive health isn't the issue that the president feels most comfortable talking about anyway. What do you say to those who are worried that the president won't go far enough or isn't the right messenger for this extremely critical moment? I would say a couple of things. I would say, look at what he has done, uh, what this administration has done under his leadership. I mean, he, you know, I was with him in the Oval Office uh, the day the Dobbs decision came down and he was angry. And why was he angry? The same reason we were all angry, because never before had the Supreme Court taken away a fundamental constitutional right. And he has been fighting and asked me to uh, help lead the fight uh, for the last two plus years um, to do whatever we can. And he also was quite clear on that day that the only way to to replace a constitutional right that was lost is to restore the protections that uh, existed under Roe versus Wade for nearly 50 years. And that's what we intend to do, what he intends to do. And he has said many, many times, while you know the other side would actually ban abortion nationwide, what he is uh, attempting to do and what he will sign the minute that uh, a law reaches his a bill reaches his desk um, is to uh, to restore the protections of Roe in federal law so that every woman in every state has the right to uh, access abortion care and other reproductive health services. Because, uh, by the way, as you well know, many other reproductive health services like contraception, like in vitro fertilization and other fertility services are uh, on the chopping block as well. And Republican elected officials, whether that's in Congress or in states, have been um, not only unwilling, but sort of dramatically uh, invested in in reducing access to care, in, in restricting access to care. And so what this president is doing is fighting to make sure that people do have access to abortion and the full range of reproductive health services. And I think, you know, the, the second point I would make is um, is the contrast could not be clearer. Um, and so, you know, as as people think about um, who is protecting their rights and their health, their access to health care, um, I think the, the, the choice is obvious. 